I am amazing. Top of the big stump. Um, okay, you're up here now. Now what? Uh, I don't know. Look at this majestic view. Oh, that's cool as shit. I didn't see that before. What, the t uh, the that's a triceratops, triceratops corpse. Yeah. Oh, and look, there's a giant heart star, up, uh, a heart crown up there. Yeah, just in case I get damaged. Did. Damage Can you, is six the maximum? Six is the maximum, oh, yes. Okay. If, so I, it, if I collect another one of those, I think I'm just given coins. coins. Okay. I, I like... Okay, that, that was unexpected, but I like the... the um, <laughs> it's my Sonic the Hedgehog impression. <laughs> oh, poor Sonic. Um, <laughs> Mario is not quite as cartoon... Like, he's still cartoony, but he's not quite as cartoony as he normally is in Mario games, so he fits into the more realistic a little better. That is... Possibly by design. Oh, I'm sure it's by design. Ow. I'm, I, I'm just saying I appreciate that they did that because, um, oh, I think it was Paper Mario Sticker Star or something like that, where they had super cartoony everything and then these really realistic. Oh yeah, isn't arts, it? Isn't it's just, it? It's just jarring. Aren't you playing the game amidst human hands and such? Yeah, and, like you're on a desk. It's so not working for me as an aesthetic. <laughs> I like, imagine it's pretty weird. I, I'm sure for some people it's fine, but for me it just does not work. Do we get to play 2D Mario now? We do get to play 2D Mario. <laughs> We've gone flat! And rather blocky at that. I like the little, like, pixel distortions it has. <sighs> what happens when you actually try to play old NES games on a uh, non-CRT. Have you tried that? I have bit? not, oh, it actually. Is, it is not. Is there a hidden block, like, right immediately under it? There uh -huh. is. Huh. Oh, it, huh. did, it did switch to a sort of 8-bitty yep. sound. I figured the thing out! You got a moon behind the waterfall. Yeah, there are power moons friggin' everywhere. Oh, are they uh, the candy of the game? Ooh, the piece candy? Of, oh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, not quite to that level, but they are. They are some kind of everywhere. Oh, okay. And hey, I'm 3D again. Oh, good. I was worried I'd be stuck in there forever. I know Peach wanted me to go on a diet, but this was ridiculous. No. I thought you had to shake both of them. Hi -ya! Okay. Yep, lots of coins. Six is, in fact, the maximum. But you only get lots of coins if you were at full hit points. Which you were because of the, uh... Because of the moon. Well, the moon and, uh... Oh, yeah, the, the thing. I don't want you to do it. Hukkaba! Well... K -k -k combo more coins! Hold on, hold on. Wait, what? wait, wait a second. Just let that gold chain chop over there uh, with the rabbit lady oh, turn uh, back and face us for a second. Look at us, damn it! Okay, no. For a second, it looked like she had painted buck teeth on it. <laughs> I think it was just the ink. Oh, God. <laughs> this is. There What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship? Why, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompkins. <laughs> That's some nightmare fuel for you. The, the, ah. the, the rabbit's design here is terrifying. Yeah. Like, th this is inspired by... Huh? Th there's no way this is not inspired by ra uh, Raving Rabbids or whatever. Whoop. 
like the Ubisoft stuff. You know, I would not be surprised if that were at least somewhat informing the design. Well, yeah, because didn't uh, Mario, uh, the Mario and Rabbids game come out like about the same time as this? They were both near launch titles. I, I don't know. Woo! Okay, none of that, please. It's supposed to be a much more forgiving XCOM. Well, that actually, I think, is is one of the design decisions about it, and informs a lot of Mario's experimental games. Uh, it, it's a way of introducing folks to games that they would otherwise not play. Yeah. Like XCOM or other such strategy games. But, you know, well, this is a Mario game. Mario's in it. I know Mario. And Mario Mario games aren't that bad. I can play I can yeah. do a Mario game. Or let's just see what this is all about. Like the Mario sports games are usually like very Yeah. Like I would never play a uh, a, a normal um, baseball game, but like the Mario sports yeah. whatever they call them. Th that one's actually fun because it's goofy and forgiving. Yeah. Uh, what is it, Mario Tennis Aces? That actually does look like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot of game to it because it's it's just tennis. Yeah, I have and a after after the, the the Mario shine uh, wears off, you know, there's not much to it beyond if you don't like tennis at this point. Eh, but <laughs> it gets people to try it, and some people might go, oh, "I need a tennis simulator now." <clears throat> Yeah. I mean, I could see that as one that we'll oh. probably get and maybe do two episodes of and then just play it on our own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay! You did it. You have six power moons in there. Yep. Which means we've completed a sale segment. Which also means, Pat, you can go to another level. It also means that the most powerful magic of all was just cast on this this ship. Clean up. Oh, prestidigitation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> My god, if there was any D&D &D spell I could have in real life, it would be that. Prestidigitation is just the- Dear god, yes! It is so broken! I remember when it used to just be called Cantrip. <laughs> and it did everything that all Cantrips did, but it took a level one spell slot. You know what? I'd be okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I can only cast this three times a day. Eh. Alright, time to go to the Sand Kingdom. Already we're starting off with the desert level. You know, that's... Mar the desert level was the third, uh, second world in Mario 3 as well. My god, you're right. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Then again... Let's see, normally I only did up to the first fortress in it, because I would get the two warp whistles from the first world. And, <laughs> and then the just jump immediately to world aid? Well, no, because I, I, when I was a kid, I didn't know that um, you could use a warp whistle on the warp whistle map to jump right into the eight. Oh. So I would go to the second world, get that third warp whistle in, in fortress 2-1, uh, or whatever the heck it was. Uh-huh. And then warp whistle from there to, like, the far, uh, like world three then use the world three work with uh, use that there to get to world six and then from there to eight because i wasn't a, you, know, you didn't know i didn't the know trick. but if you didn't know the trick you could, and you, but you still got all three warp whistles you could still get to world eight right away it uh, sounds to me like you were a bit of a tryhard. a little bit <laughs> i did beat the game though whoa uh, i know uh, it took forever <laughs> <laughs> so how you like me as a captain's hat pretty classy, wouldn't you say? I don't know. It's not red. <laughs> now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser Bowser. Ah, good old King Koopa Bowser. Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. See, get it? That's where the name of the game comes from. Seeming as if we got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Oh, so you the ground me. pound. I don't that have thing I saw you doing before. Yeah, you just smash things with your butt because you weigh a lot of... You know, because you're fat. So it's, it's all not, the it's all the carbs. It's not carbs turn into fat because I don't have to go home and beat up a bunch of guys that are trying to win Princess Peach <laughs> and, and shoot an arrow through. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, they make they they just pause the game. You, oh, you have to go in. You here. have to go look at all the things you can do. Oh, look yeah. at all the things you can do, <laughs> and there are things we don't even know about yet. There, 
And if it has a hat next to it, that's something you've done? Well, no. If, if it has a hat next oh, yeah. to it, it's something that you can do with your hat. Like capture, or throw the hat upwards, I'm... or throw the hat downwards, or throw it to the side. Hold it and throw, which is like super. Dr look at that look on the cap's face. The cap's I, like he's just like, I got this. <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Ah, uh, the cap is going to be played in the movie by uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and it'll, yes, it'll, it'll do its signature smolder. Yes, the the uh, the Mario Cinematic Universe is going to be animated by Dreams work, DreamWorks. <laughs> Actually, no. I think if Nintendo just takes whatever visuals they have here and just makes a feature film out of it right here and now, they'd have just instant money all over themselves. You see, that's just, uh, that's just bringing back the Smash Avengers. Smash Avengers? Yeah, it was, it was... The, I would watch the shit out of it that! The Mar it was the Mario Cin or the Nintendo Cinematic Universe, and it was all of the, all the various main franchise characters, but the, uh, the like their big huge crossover thing was smash that's like awesome it, yeah so and it was agents of smash was the like <laughs> the, the agency <laughs> and i forget who i forget who the nick fury character was but link was obviously the thor analog well of course <laughs> because he wields the master sword yeah and donkey kong was hulk duh yeah so we're in the Sand Kingdom. There's some ruins there. An artifact called the Binding Band that links people to forever. Like a wedding ring. Oh. That's why the icon is also a wedding ring. I never And this Bowser seems like the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for a sham wedding. I mean, there's a really He also scary. stole my sister to put on that tramp's head. I mean, Peach. Yeah, I'm sure she's a classy lady. We're never going to mention it again. <laughs> it's a fine. Hmm. I'll we do this all the time. <laughs> you know, we're just in a week we'll be racing go karts again we're just and going to, to spice tennis. It up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw a party at the end of this. Bowser will be invited. <laughs> we'll play board games. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. Uh, it's the Odyssey, Odyssey. Oh, excuse me. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. In the day. The top of that tower is shining. But how could that be? Could it be a power moon? It could. That Why are power moons so, so special? They're everywhere. Not all of them do all of this crazy bullshit. Yep. These triangle coins are only good in these, this kingdom. What about that kingdom? Not that kingdom, just this kingdom. Oh. Toast Arena Town. So hold it. Everything just throws all of us at it. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the Mexican accent because yeah, that's I why can't. I, that's... I can't do it. <laughs> no, 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 no! That guy owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen to the core. Yeah, the ice cream shop is just. Oh. Okay then. Wait. Try fried ice cream. Oh yeah, that's actually worthwhile at this point. Uh, yeah. yeah. I take it from the fact that we only got, like, 18 of the 50 in the previous level that, you know, you come back to worlds. Yeah, yes, you can go back. Uh... Hello! You ought to get lost, you head for the bright glowy light, okay? That switch from, like, German to Russian to... Uh, don't, French don't somehow. Don't question. Oh, I'm questioning. Don't do it. I'm questioning hard. It's bad for you. Don't do it. Uh, no, shit. <laughs> you can open the map with minus. So easy and helpful. Just like me. <gasps> There's a power moon in there. There is. You did it. Yeah! It. Overlooking the desert town. Oh, there's a lot of power moons here. Yep. And I, th I think... So, those those little outlines uh, show off um, uh, just the power moons that you need in order to traverse to the next area. Oh. Or those are only the power moons that they're going to bother to tell you about, but there's more than that here. Great. Well... 
Why don't we go down there next time, Pat? Okay, fine. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna make you wait while Mario he shivers. He's he's shivering with anticipation. Quick, turn in, turn in quick. Can't change it down, I feel